In this overview, I am going to talk about the Reseller Store WordPress plugin and show how to create a product landing page. I will start on the WordPress dashboard. And the first thing we will need to do is to install the Reseller Store plugin. So if you click on plugins and then click add new and search for Reseller Store and then select and activate this plugin. After activating the plugin, we will need to set up the plugin by clicking on Reseller Store and then logging in with our account. Once we're logged in, we can select our reseller plan and activate our reseller. This will import the product catalog. Now let's take a minute and look at the product catalog. And these are all the products that can be sold on your storefront. The products today that we are going to be looking at are the website builder products. You will see that we have three website builder options here with the different prices. And when you edit a product, we have provided all of the plan details for you and you can edit the content if you would like. Now let's create a product landing page to compare the different website builder plan boxes. So I will go to pages and click add new. I'm going to create a landing page to target photographers who are looking to purchase a website builder plan for their business. So first let's give the page a title. Next, I will create three columns by going to layout elements and choosing columns so that we can compare the three different website builder plans. Now let's add a website builder product to the first column by going down to find the reseller store modules. Now in the reseller store modules, the plugin has provided two different blocks, a domain search and a product block. For this page, we will select the product block. And then select our website builder plan from the list of the products available on our storefront. Now let's add the other two Website Builder Products. Go to Reseller Store Modules, Product, and this time we will select Website Builder Business. And then Website Builder Plus. Now let's preview our product landing page. And we have our products available for comparison. We also have a fourth column here that we'll want to get rid of since this is a product landing page. So let's go back to edit the page. And each theme is a little bit different, but for this theme, we can just choose custom here and then choose a single column page with margins. and preview that. Now we have our page with just the product comparison boxes. Since this is a product landing page, we will want to add some content to make the page look nicer and give the shopper some more details about the product, as well as boost the SEO value of the page. 
So let's go ahead and go back to the edit and add some information to the bottom of the page. Choose paragraph here and add our content. We will also want to add a call to action at the top of the page. Going to common blocks and choosing cover. Choose an image here. Make that full width and a fixed background. Add our page title. And then our call to action. So we'll add some columns here, a little bit more details. And then our call to action button. Now the way we'll create our call to action button is at go ahead and add a, another product block from our reseller store modules. And let's take a look at some of the options available on the additional options available on the product block. So I'll come down here to choose website builder business, which is our mid tier product. And I can optionally change the image size or hide the image. In this case, I'll hide the image. I'll change our button text to get started. Hide the product title hide the post content, and then I can also hide the price or display the price. For this call to action button, I'll go ahead and hide the price since it's already displayed down here. Now let's preview our product landing page. And just like that, we do have our product landing page. And I can click on our call to action, get started. And you will see that the product was easily added to the cart and ready for checkout.